Hello, friend. I'm here live on Facebook. Just eating some beans. I got some red beans here. Hi, Dean Miller. I'm just over here eating beans. I've seen it. Two people talking on the same screen. Just eating some beans. I got some red beans here. I got a text message. Hey, dude, what's up? I'm just over here eating beans, eating some eating beans straight out of the can. It's one of those days, you know, I was sitting back relaxing, trying to figure out who I was going to cover next because Airsoft Fatty is striking people, Only Use Me Blade is striking people. I mean, most of the conventional locales just don't really, really hit that spot anymore. I mean, I guess I could cover another mead concoction by, by Cobra, but what's the point? And I'm sure you're also wondering, who the hell is this guy? Just like with the Wild Man Chris video, we, we, we've stumbled upon an interesting man. A man who is probably most appropriately titled as Mormozine. He's a man that has four and a half thousand subscribers, and he even self-proclaims himself as a locale. And I don't necessarily know if I would constitute him as a locale. I feel like it's more adept or keen to call him your creepy uncle who somehow got connection to the internet and started posting videos. I think that's a better understanding of who Mormo is. He makes all sorts of types of videos, and interesting enough, his most popular video is actually a video that's not even his, it's some prospecting movie that I guess he ripped and said, yeah, we're gonna put that bad boy online, has 1.5 million, million views. That, for context, that's how many views my entire, ch my entire channel has. And that's his most viewed. In fairness, most of his videos have like 200 views or so. And a lot of it's kind of nonsense. But there's there's some gems in there. There are some gems in there. We're going to see his collections that he likes to do. His reviews he likes to do. And we'll, we'll see his bad boy edgy phase. We'll see what that's all about. I introduce to you Mormozine. Hello to all gay people out there, I'm Mormo and I want to tell you that you don't have to be an atheist or a skeptic. Witchcraft is a spiritual path that doesn't discriminate against sexual preference or anything else. I published a little ebook called Witchcraft for Gays that can get you started. I really like the weird electronic metal music going on in the background. It sort of feels like you're you're walking your own way into your coffin. It's pretty nice. It really sets the tune for I don't know, it's like the rejet my chemical romance member. <laughs> you know, that's that's the vibe I'm picking up a little bit from Mormo here. He's talking about witchcraft, he's got blood coming out of his nose, he's got raccoon eyes. I mean if anything, if he's not going to make the cut as a My Chemical Romance member or any other punk band member for that, that maybe maybe he can make it as DSP's wife. You know, maybe maybe he'll sneak it in there. Maybe he'll be Cat. Who knows? You know, I'm not I'm not making any judgments. I'm not making any judgments. But he's accepting of all people. Isn't that isn't that beautiful, everybody? Witchcraft, the thing that summons demons and conjures spells and hexes against people. All of you are welcome. Come on in. Come on down. Mormo's going to teach you all about how being a gay wizard is really good. Hello, friend. It's Mormo, the horror host who loves to learn and loves to make money online. And today we're looking at a software called Deep Swap, which is a video software, but um, real quick. I want to tell you that I got a link to three free alternatives that cost nothing and they're great courses. They're what turned me from buying, buying, buying to actually making commissions and earning money instead of losing money. These courses taught me that. Quick, simple, and high definition. Reface multiple faces. Ugh.
I think this is a great product. I, well, actually, I don't know. I'm not gonna buy it and test it. Um. This is just like the perfect old man video out there. You know, you have terrible green screening going on in the background. It's it's looking like a Suicide Boys, you know, lyric video in the background right now. Very nice, very, very classy for a face swap AI website. Not sure it really fits. I understand the money aspect, maybe. Maybe that makes sense to me. Not too sure. But the professionalism is off the charts here. He's burping in it. He's not even purchasing the software. He has no idea <laughs> what if this thing actually works or does well. It sort of reminds me, I, I remember back in the day, and when I say back in the day, I mean like 10 years ago, when I used to do like gameplay videos on YouTube, I would find websites that look just like this to download some free shitty screen recorder before like OBS was popular and cracking fraps was sometimes difficult. I get some garbage to throw up there and it, the websites look just like that. With fake reviews, big buttons saying download now, get this. Put some malware on your computer, no big deal. But we've reached the crux of what, how, how Mormo tries to make money. You're, you're probably not picking up on it. He'll mention it later with another tutorial video that he tells you, but He's basically trying to do affiliate marketing, and obviously it's not going to work, because why would I go to Mormo <laughs> to determine my my face swap free AI software? I don't know, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me, Mormo. I don't think that's a very good business plan, alright? I'm not, I'm not trying to sink your ship before it gets out of harbor, but I'm just, I'm just saying, it's, it's a bit skeptical. It's a little bit sketch, you know? Uh, mostly because... I, I am aware of affiliate marketing, but for channels like me, how does affiliate marketing even work? What am I going to advertise to you guys to buy through Amazon or buy through faceswapai.com? You know, it's just the, the niche you're in can cater to affiliate marketing or hamper it. And I don't think it's really helping you out here, Mormon. I'm just, I'm just trying to be... Your CPA trying to help you out a little bit. All right, give you some business advice. We'll we'll work together. It's called Odyssey Mushroom Elixir, Sparkling Mushroom Elixir, and this is my second energy my second energy drink today. I hate to drink two energy drinks in one day, but I saw this at the head shop and just had to try it. It has a really odd taste. It's not bad, and I drink it again. I want to see if I get fo mental clarity and focus and all that. So once again, probably another affiliate marketing scheme. Hey, go buy this weird mushroom energy drink. And I don't know what it is with with locales and their obsession with energy drinks. I mean. Cobes does it, Cyrax does it, Mo Mormo does it. I mean, come on. The infamous Mormo? That's preposterous. He can't be drinking his second one today? Oh, man. Just imagine if Wild Man Chris was getting in on this. That is just too much action for one video. Just can't be having it. Can't be having that. That's disrespectful. And I gotta love, you know, I get this little sensation from Mormo a little bit where I'm like, this guy would probably be that strange uncle or like the neighbor a couple houses down who lives by himself who comes over to the cookout every once in a while and he'll say just some bizarre stories to you and he'll, off, he'll be a little bit off kilter he'll say some things uh, uh you know that aren't very favorably viewed by the public but deep down you're like mormo's not that bad of a guy he's not too bad he's just drinking his mushroom stew over there with his witchcraft gay wizardry and his his mushroom stew. I mean, this man, he's the next Harry Potter. I've solved it. I've solved it, Mormo. And you know what Mormo loves more than trying to shill random companies to you? Clowns. He's a big clown guy. Hello, friend. Mormozine here. 
and today I'm in my back living room. My house has two living rooms and I'm in the back living room because this is where I keep all my clowns. They're all right here. These are the new ones. This is a puzzle. My grandma put together a huge puzzle. And so it appears like Wild Man Chris, we've run into another person that is potentially living with his grandmother. I don't think that Mormo is relying on his grandmother. I don't think he has a job. All right, I, I'm not sure he has a job, but I think he might just be helping out his grandmother as she gets older. You know, by the way, he lives in Branson, Missouri. Beautiful place. Everybody loves to be in Branson. And, you know, she's still she's still keen enough to be able to put a puzzle together. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll share my soul with you guys. I'm not very good at puzzles. I'm just not very good. I know plenty of people who love puzzles. That's what they do for fun. I sit there. I just don't get it. I'm going to smash the pieces together. I'm no smarter than any of the locales I cover here. You know, Cyrax, for example, would always love to say, Oh, you think you're so much better. You think you're... Well, you're not. You're not. I'm never saying that, Cyrax. All right? I'm not saying that to you either, Mormo. We're one in the same boat. All right? Let's not get cast ashore. Let's not get lost at sea. All right? We can figure this out together. And I'm glad that you're taking care of your grandma. And maybe she maybe she hooked you up with, with clowns. Maybe that's how you found your love for clowns. And you went thrift shopping for cl clowns? That's pretty cool. Let's check out your clowns, buddy. That, that should be fun and not completely shocking and horrifying to me. That should be cool. Here's the first clown. If it'll focus. There we go. There's my cat Mavis. She wants to be in the video too, but uh, here's this clown. Looks like he's holding a little umbrella or something. Are pretty similar. This guy looks almost like a hillbilly clown because he's got his overalls on. And there's like a little toy or something. And he's got a party hat on. Second favorite clown that I got today. It's a laying down clown, this clown, and he's wearing a vest and a tie. He doesn't have a jacket. And uh, here's the last clown. He's playing the saxophone. And up here, I got the headless clown because what happened is, is um, this piece of furniture fell over in a storm or something. And I walked back here and that clown was on the floor with his head shattered. But I still keep him around. I still love him even though he doesn't have a head. So there's a lot of questions I have, Mormo. I'm going to be completely honest. Let's start with the headless clown. What do you mean by the storm? Uh, typically, you know, I don't know, Branson, Missouri, maybe there's earthquakes going on over there. Maybe there's tornadoes flying through. I don't know. I, I don't want to judge, but what uh what type of storm just starts uh rattling your furniture from the inside and knocks it over especially your prize clown possessions i'm surprised that we're not seeing some like star wars kid glass shelf type of ensemble for this perfection you might want to invest in that you know the affiliate links might not be helping out too much maybe maybe my video will get you some traction who knows but it, it, the idea is you gotta keep your your investment secure, and and the thing is we're all we're all a little bit one percent, you know maybe a little bit more than one percent out there, you know I'm not I'm not judging anything because I have my own collections. I like collecting things. I'm sure people out there like to collect things too. I'm just confused as to why you like to collect clowns. What drew you to clowns? Was it because you were dressed like a juggalo? Is that why? Is it because you were the lead singer of Three Days Grace? Is that why? Uh, uh, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying, I'm not judging. I'm not judging here. It's just, there's that clown, the second to last clown, who just has the white face and is horrifying. It's something about, like, the uncanny valley. You know, they sort of look like people, but, like, I feel like they're laughing and they want to, like, eat you. And, and like disembowel you and leave you in a gutter somewhere something about that you know I'm, I'm still scarred from the time when all those people came running out uh you know clowns dressed in the woods trying to scare people I, I didn't forget that we just sort of moved on 
I'm not forgetting it. I'm, I have a feeling that based on this next video with Mormo, that he might be some sort of voodoo witch doctor. You know, I thought he was a wizard. Maybe, maybe he's a little bit different. Maybe he summoned the clowns. And maybe, just maybe, he knows a little bit about summoning. We're talking about how to train your horse, how to tame and train wild and vicious horses. Horse tracing, horse training secrets revealed is a guide that will help you quickly train wild and vicious horses. And thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you'd like more information, please click the link in the description. And uh, it is an affiliate link, so if you make a purchase, I get a commission. So that's how I found out. Through this video, I'm very grateful. You know, a lot of the videos that I download for these more compilation style videos like wild man chris it's more so going off a title or, or thumbnail that i'm intrigued to buy and i saw the horse one i'm like what could he possibly be intrigued by horse horses i saw him being intrigued by clowns and now he's a big horse guy he was the horse girl of his class you know he's got the puppet of himself kind of cool kind of you know it's a bit of a flex it makes me feel a little bit bad about myself i don't have my mo my own you know self-reflective image to, to praise and worship so it's it, it it crushes me a little bit more mo you know because it's clear that you've just got your whole life put together but it's also i mean <laughs> i mean he's also very clearly just reading things from either a website or from like a book description and it's like oh that's a video let's like, boom post it come on give me give me one buy Maybe that's all he's shooting for each time. He's like, just give me one buy. I don't need, I don't need everybody to rush out. I just need one person. And you know, it's it's interesting because I think we're gonna see uh, a darker side of Mormo a little bit here. We're gonna see what Mormo does in the dark. Beta this Mormo. I'm a little nervous. I love being in your big bed. The soft sheets feel so good against my bare skin. That's so hot, Mormo. So, I mean, what, what am I supposed to say? I, I'm sorry you had to listen to that. I'm really sorry. And, and Mormo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a piece of advice, buddy. All right, I, I, we'll call each other buddy now. We're friends. We're, we're 18 minutes into the video. We're, we're friends at this point. Um, listen, listen, buddy. You can't be posting videos of some back page girl that you hired to do phone sex with you, all right? Can't be posting that on here, all right? This video is age restricted. I don't know. It might even get my video age restricted, all right? I'm just trying to show what you're into, and I don't know who who is this geared towards. You know, what, the real nightmare is, what if this is some poor girl that he knows? Hey, can you record this video for me real quick? I got a script. I got a script. Don't worry. We'll read it from Wikipedia. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I, I didn't I didn't check this video, but maybe maybe there's an affiliate link to backpages.com down below. I didn't look that far into it, Mormo. You know, maybe you're a more wise and sage businessman than I thought. I, I, I don't know. And maybe that has to do with who you truly are. You know, I, I've gotten this far examining the things you like to cover, but I haven't asked, who are you, Mormo? What are you all about? What is the difference between emo and punk? Or no, sorry, what is the difference between emo and goth? And my answer is that, um, goth is more of like uh, death rock. It's like, it's an offshoot of punk, but it's more of like dance music with bass and like the kind of music you could move to on the dance floor. And emo is more of like hardcore music where you're like aggressive and it's more aggressive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop you right there, Chief. I don't think you got either of these right. It doesn't help that you're more than likely drunk in this video. That's the vibe I'm getting. You messed up in the beginning, mixing up the topics of emo and punk or goth and punk. And it's like, listen, buddy. All right. You got your crown on upside down. You got your Boy Scout badges attached to your lapel. Get it together. All right. You got your trucker's tan up there. 
you know, figure it out, dude. All right, I don't, I don't say that lightly. Figure it out. All right. Secondly, I feel like emo is more of the poppy punk. Well, maybe not punk necessarily, but it's more poppy and it's more dancey. While goth is a little bit more dark and it's a little bit more metal. So, I, I'm, you know, I, it's, it's rude of me to come in here into your space, but I'm, I'm just trying to set the record straight. Get it together, Mormo. Okay preposterous you can't be having some joe schmo that covers every other little cow on the street coming in here and and glassing you you know i see you only got like 18 you know 14 different boy scout badges come on do better one of the most common and persistent superstitions alive and well in the world today is that breaking a mirror will cause seven years of bad luck and or cause the death of a loved one. A lot of videos like this, I won't examine each and every single one of them. I just thought this one was funny because it's similar to the one in the beginning of the video. It's it, it's probably just him recording like five videos in a row. He's like, yeah, we'll space them out. We'll put them out when I need to. And he's got the crown on. He's got the raccoon eyes. I mean, he's got all the hits. He's got the shirt for the waiter at Cheesecake Factory. I mean, my man knows what's up. And if you don't think he's a true videographer, check out this sweet movie that he compiled. I'm gonna get you, damn Nigerians! <laughs> oh my god. Before. There ain't no mama anywhere. Mama. Damn, I said. First, I taught you how to make money, and now I'm gonna kill you, you Nigerians. So, Mormo is a man of, of many talents. I've had to blur out his weapon because I'm afraid of what YouTube might do to me. But I'm also curious do you guys think this is what Branson, Missouri looks like? Huh, do you? Or do you think that he hired two Nigerians? <laughs> <laughs> to record a live action shot for him to do a green screen over of him saying, I'm going to get you. I'm coming after you. Gar, arr. I mean, Mormon is an interesting guy. And there's plenty of content that I'm sure is left unexplored, but I'm just, I'm just intrigued. And I think you guys probably enjoy some of this break from the main little cows to examine some people that aren't as known. Maybe Mormo will become the next, you know, Steven Spielberg. Who knows? Maybe this Nigerian thing's gonna take off. Who really knows? But I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.